Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Ryan here. Uh, I play chess and put my videos online. Today I want to go over um, how to pick apart the Scandinavian defense. I think it's, personally, I think it's an awful opening, um, but, you know, I get a lot of players that play it, uh, even, you know, up here in the 1400s. Um, but this is my system of playing against the Scandinavian defense, and I think it works quite well. Um, so it starts with my e4, and he plays d5. Um, he's immediately challenging the center and uh, <laughs> losing his one of his main pawns. Anyways, so I take, he recaptures, and then I check the queen with my knight. Now his best move is to move to a5, um, but oftentimes they'll just go right back to where they started, um, which is a huge... Um, um, time waster, I guess. I don't know why people play this opening. I think it's dreadful. Um, so he moves all the way back to that rank. I develop another piece. He develops a pawn. Usually they like to develop a pawn here and a pawn here. Um, and I push forward with my queen pawn. Now it's a queen pawn game. And I have my queen pawn, so it's a bit of an advantage. He moves a knight. I pin the knight. He unpins, I develop my bishop, um, he now has a double attack on this pawn. I decide to let him take it if he wants to because I've got a pretty brutal check if he does. If he takes, I'll take back with the knight, and then he will take my knight, and then I'll come over here with check, um, winning the queen. So he castles as well, too smart for that. I move my bishop back. Um, just because I, I don't want any trickery with, you know, this knight moving somewhere and then I just trade bishops right away. I want to keep my pieces on the board. My pieces are active and um, developed and his are not. This bishop is not going anywhere fast. He moves another pawn. I move that pawn just in case he moves his knight here and wants to take my bishop. I can scooch it back. And he tries to exchange bishops because he knows that my pieces are better than his and that's what you do usually. I go back to checking the knight. If he wants to weaken his king side more and push this pawn, I'm inviting it. In which case, I would just move back and do the pawn trade. He defends it again. I move my knight. Now I'm actually defending this twice. I'm starting to move my pieces towards his king side. He moves his knight, and at this point, I'm kind of annoyed with it. I don't know why he wants this bishop so bad. It's not even the same color as his king. But I go ahead and take it and solidify this pawn chain. Um, this does a couple of things, but most importantly, it shuts this knight out for a long time. And it kind of secures, at least up until this fifth rank, my queen side. Um, he makes another you know, time-wasting move, I thought. I attack this knight. He moves it out. I don't want to trade it. Um, that's what I said going into it, is uh, no trades. I think trades are a waste of time, and if you believe that you're more tactically skilled and you have a better position, I don't think that you should trade pieces. He moves his rook there. It's you know he might move this pawn forward. I attack this knight, and this knight now has nowhere to go. This is another reason why I didn't trade is because he just loses this knight now. He can't move here. I'll just take it. He can't move here. I'll take with the rook. His best move is probably to take this pawn here and blow up my king side, but he doesn't. He just goes back, and I take it. Moves the king, and I just drop it right back. It's a free, <laughs> it's a free knight. He moves his queen there. I don't know why. I uh, develop my knight again. Uh, this pawn is protected by this knight still. I got a tempo on the queen. Queen moves back to where he was before. I move my knight to a nice surface. Um, I, I, I don't know why I did this. I guess I just wanted a full blown attack on the king side. Um, he's able to, you know, this knight wasn't going anywhere fast. Maybe my best move was. Uh, something a little bit slower, but um, so he takes and I recapture. Now, you know how they always say, attack where your pawns are pointed? I, I don't know of a much better example of this. My pawns are directly pointed towards the king. Um, I develop my rook, want to double up there pretty soon, and he weakens his king side. I go ahead and slide in here. It's protected by the pawn. It's a nice, nice pawn chain. A lot of ideas here. I can take here the pawn, check, uh, come back down here, check him again, 
I, I take, he's only got there, I check here, he moves back, I have a double attack on this pawn right now. Now to be honest, I probably wouldn't have taken this because I don't want to trade two good rooks for a bad queen. This queen is not going anywhere fast. If you look at his squares, um, he's two or three moves before becoming active again. He tries to trade pieces, it's generally what you should do. I check, he moves his rook back, it's a forced move, um, and then I repeat, just like you should. So he defends the pawn, and I just come in, attacking it. I've got two attackers, he has three defenders, but one of those defenders is a queen, and the other is a king, so this is pretty dangerous right now. When this happens, you can basically only count this as one defender right now. He gave up, um, this, this bishop still hasn't moved this game. He pushes a pawn, I just take it, because if he takes me back, you know, I'll, I'll win the queen. And he tries to gain some space on this side, it's all he's got left. And I bring my bishop here, and he resigns. Um, I mean, if you just look at the development, he, he hadn't moved that bishop all game, or that rook. Um, he's, <laughs> he's barely made it off his third rank. He made that off his third rank on uh, his second to last move. So I think Scandinavian defense is a terrible, terrible line, um, but I'm willing to play it if you are. Let's just go back and speed through how this game progressed again. This is what I liked here. It's a free knight. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I wish you the best of luck playing against the Scandinavian.